Hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, look at them go. Welcome back to Wolf Wilds where we currently have a huge litter of puppies. Look at these little ones. We have four new puppies in our wild wolf pack uh, for the wild woods. Oh my gosh. And they are playful, they are adorable, and they are very much in need of some new names. So far, all of them have survived being born. Um, heckin', it was very interesting going through like half of our bison population and quite a few antelopes in order to feed them and their brothers, their older brothers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just look how cute they are! I absolutely freaking lootly need to get like a new wildlife photographer stand because this is just too cute. Look at them! Look at them! How could you resist this? I'm beginning to understand just a glimmer of some of you extremely passionate wolf people. Oh dear, and it appears that uh, the doors, or excuse me, the walls and barriers are getting a little bit a little bit old so we definitely need to call a mechanic over here just to keep the wolves safe as well but welcome back friends so we are going to be carrying on where we left off last time which is figuring out the future of the pine pack oh yay and gamer girl has survived long enough to have an offspring oh heckin i am so glad to get another bison are you kidding me I am, I am tickled to pieces. We really lost out on a lot of bison for a little bit there. But we are carrying on right where we left off last time with the Northern Song Challenge, which the community has actually completed 100%, but I still want to do our best to try to achieve the top tier that we can uh, and see if there's a golden reward hiding somewhere up there. And I think the best way we're gonna be able to complete this challenge and really make our national park get a golden reward of some kind for for being as amazing as it is even if it is small right now is uh having more prog horns more bison and some dull sheep sheep that's what i'm thinking about also welcome new little one hello hi okay we're gonna name all of the new babies in just a second and we're gonna try to get many more new babies coming on in Unfortunately, this little one wasn't high enough. She wasn't bronze level, so she didn't count towards the goal. Fooey. But we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best, friends. All right, so let's come on over. And first things first, yes, we're giving him the good stuff. Let's name the wolf pups, and we are actually going to see if their big brothers have decided to stay or to go. Because one of the new things that we're going to start doing is when our wolves mature and after they do a successful hunt to say they survive pupphood, is I have a new random generator that is going to decide if a wolf um, is going to stay in the family for the next like round of puppies and help to raise the pups or if the wolf is going to go and establish its own territory somewhere here in the wilds, uh, or if it's going to disperse and actually leave us. So I'm pretty excited to see what's gonna happen to Fox and Wren. If they're gonna decide I wanna stay and help out with the siblings and learn how to take care of wolf pups from my parents, or if they are going to actually go ahead and disperse. And this is gonna be very interesting because if we lose the puppy's parents, before the pups mature, then it's going to be very, very, very risky uh, and they may not survive to adulthood. That's the danger of having elder wolves have puppies and then have no one else in the pack to help like protect them. So, all right, let's do this. Let's name the puppies first. All right, oh, and Aelin. Let me check if Aelin has recovered yet. No, he has an injury until December 7th. So yeah, Aelin the Elder is already, like everything is on Ziaria and Rin and Fox to bring in prey at the moment. So let's see what's going on with the first name being Moon. So little Ava, where are you? You're going to be renamed to Moon after one of you guys. Keep those comments coming, my friends, because y'all are going to end up being... <laughs> Uh, Y'all are going to end up being in our pack somehow, or you might be the pack's food, or you might end up being like a cabin. So keep your comments coming, and the random comment generator might pick your name in order to become part of our wonderful experience here. And then we have got Lunar, which is a... 
<laughs> I think there's a lot of you guys who like wolves and you like the moon. So moon and lunar, you two actually have very identical names, so it's kind of hilarious. Let's see. And then we have got... Dun dun dun! Victor, you're the next. And Victor, I totally agree. The way that the hunting works is a little confusing, but I'm working on making my random generator make more sense. And Caitlin, the the bison, actually got taken down by one of the healthier wolves from um, one of the boys. Oh no, Emma, don't interbreed. I don't need I don't need inbreeding. Oh dear. All right, hang on. There's so much going on all of the time here. Thomas, you're still not an elder. When does Thomas become an elder? He's feeling really stressed, maybe from people, maybe from trying to like maintain his area. Thomas, when do you become an elder? Not for quite a while. I mean, his life expectancy is to 11 years. Uh, Emma, we're gonna dart you and just cross our fingers that that's gonna be good enough. And then... Let's see what else is going on. All right, let me pull up the next name on the name list. There is so much happening all of the time with all of these little puppies. And the final little one is going to be this female right over here. And her name is actually going to be Maddie. So welcome Maddie into our pack. Heck, okay, so much stuff going on. So much stuff just constantly going on. I freaking love it. Uh, but alright guys, so now I have rolled the random generator and we're going to see if Rin and Fox are going to stay with their parents, which, I mean, look at how iconic this is. Look at how beautiful this is. I love seeing our wolves thrive. This is just beautiful with the mountains up behind them, the wolf pups nearby. The family is really doing so well. And they're doing well enough that actually our boys have decided to leave the pack. <laughs> I was shocked when I rolled the random generator earlier. I was like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? But Fox has actually decided that he is ready to go ahead and leave the area. Where is Fox? He's right over here. And he is already almost six years old. So he's like halfway through his natural lifespan anyway. It's time for him to leave and establish his own territory. So we're gonna be building Fox a new territory over here in just a minute, which I'm pretty excited about. And then Ren, our boy Ren, is he going to stay with the pack and help out with the pups? Well guys, the answer is no. Rin actually rolled the very slim chance to disperse entirely. So Rin is dreaming of adventures that will take him further afield. And he's feeling like he really wants to see what is over the mountains and find a new home elsewhere. So even though it's kind of hard to see a beautiful handsome wolf like this go, we're actually gonna send him to the trade center. And then oh, I have to think, do we want to go ahead and there's a lot of, like he's a really healthy wolf, so I want to be able to give him the option of being traded away. So we'll do this. We'll go ahead and we will offer him up for trade. Since he is so healthy and he would live for such a long time, let's try putting him up for, um, I mean, there's a lot of wolves out there and I want to try to help people. So hang on. There we go. Can I do, ah, I want less, less. Okay, I, I I was trying to go less. Here we go, we'll just do this. All right, let's try 800 and let's see if Rin doesn't find a new home, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will just release him to the wild, but we'll put him for a low price like that and see if he can go help someone. Yay, we've had new babies, you guys! New babies left and right. Roses, the American bison is about to have more babies. Hopefully we're pecking a little closer into the gold level. The pack is starting to calm down, even though they've got so much going on. And Roses has had a baby! Yay! Also, we have a little bit of fighting going on over here between Wakefield and his dad. So let's move Wakefield into the bachelor area. There we go. And then let's check in on all of these bison babies. <laughs> all right, so Wilos, sorry, you died. We must release you to the wild. All right, so Wilos is no longer with us. Oh, uh, let's see. 
and we have two new baby girls and I don't believe we named the new male that we got or the new female so we're gonna go ahead and name them after some of you guys all right let me pull some things up oh my gosh and Angelina thank you so much for all of your great ideas on different animals that we could add in to represent the different species in our um, <laughs> in our North American wilds, like using bongo antelope for mule deer or having pangolins stand in for groundhogs. That is such a great idea. The lemurs for squirrels, totally agree there. I can't wait to get the red pandas in and call them quote unquote foxes. And I do think that having just lionesses in might be a really fun way Let's dart Rosie too. But having just lionesses in might be a really fun way to go ahead and have um, a pumas. We could say that our lioness is actually a cougar. Also, are you okay? Taylor, what happened? She died of old age, friends. Oh, it's so sad. I didn't even know we lost someone. Oh, oh dear. Also, I wonder if Knight has had his time. I, I feel like Knight... He's getting, or Thomas, excuse me, not Knight. Knight was our bison we lost. But I wonder if Thomas here. Hmm. Sir, I, have you, have you had enough offspring? I think when he becomes an elder, we'll retire him. But until then, we'll just be very patient. Uh, all right, so let's get in here and name our bison. Heck. All right. And Angelina, we're gonna go ahead and name one of our bison after you guys, after you. How about the one who is currently expecting a baby? There we are. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get many adorable little ones from you. And then we've got Chloe. So Chloe, let me name one of the baby bison after you. Look at how cute they are. I freaking love these baby bison. All right. And then the next name is going to be dun 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 this little girl bison who we saw be born earlier and this is going to be Lindsay. Lindsay, welcome. I hope that you grow well and happy and like nothing nothing happens to you before <laughs> uh before it's too late. And then we're going to name there we go. This big boy is going to be Oliver's, which I think is a hilarious name. There, phew. Okay, I think we pretty much named everybody now, which is very good. There's so many animals again. I love seeing them thrive. All right, where are we at on our challenges? Yes, all right, we're making good progress. Now we're up to 17 births that we have experienced. Got some new pieces coming on in, excellent. And have I named the proghorns? You guys need to worry about your survival after all. You have to wonder, am I going to make it? Am I going to be able- Oh, Shanita, you're actually dead. Sorry about that. Am I going to be able to survive to the next day? Uh, it's quite intense, but I know all of you are going to be able to pull it off. And I do believe I need to name Vega. Pretty sure we haven't named Vega yet. So we're going to go ahead and name her Sparrow. Oh my gosh, I love that name. What a great suggestion. All right, we're kind of doing like a proghorn antelope checkup. Holy heck, we have so many elder females now. Oh my word. With all of these elderly females, the wolves will be able to eat pretty easily. Who died? Veronica the antelope died. Oh dear, is this her baby? That's, I can't look at that. That is too sad. Let's go ahead, we'll name the baby. Is that your mom? Please tell me that's not your mom. Oh, ah! Veronica the second, live on and prosper. Oh my gosh. At least at this point, it doesn't look like the baby needs any milk so it can try to survive just off of, um, just off of grass, thank goodness. All right, and then we're going to name this one Chestnut. I love that name suggestion. Today is just like check in on all of the animals day, it seems. I can't believe that Ren like left us. He was just ready. Ready for a different life. He wanted to adventure beyond and above and see where he could go. This is going to be Clover. Heckin' good names. I like these names. I can't wait to revamp this area to make it really pretty. 
All right, then we have Emma, and then the little newborn babies doing good with Bramble over here. Can't wait to add in some brambles and trees. I love the more naturalistic look we've been able to do recently. Oh, and look at these little babies. And then finally, this is going to be fun. <gasps> what a perfect name. I love those name suggestions. Keep them coming, guys. This is great. All right, I think we've named everybody now. And everyone is doing well. Several of those guys are pregnant. How are the proghorn antelopes doing? Getting to be elders. I need to bring in some healthy new females, I think. An animal has escaped. No, she's good. She's good. Veronica the second is just a little bit. Oh, she's a, such an adventure. This is amazing. I love the look of her being here at the edge of this wild wilderness. And she, she has no parent to watch over her anymore. And so she's boldly going to the edges of where a little proghorn antelope should go. Uh, I hope she doesn't go too much further, though. She she could really be at risk. Uh, but all right, so now that we have gone ahead and taken care of all of that, we do need to move Fox out and give him his own area. And I want to give him his own zone over here at, like, this mountain. And then we'll have another spot where the wolves could be over here. And I think we're going to put down some of our... Oh, chestnut, no. Oh, well... You know what? I'm just going to ignore it for now. But I think I'm going to put down some of our quote-unquote foxes, the red pandas over here, next to Fox's exhibit. Fox the wolves exhibit. <laughs> because I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and I want to have a big waterfall here that people can come and stand next to. And kind of hang out by. Let's see. All right, let's do null barrier right here down the side of the mountain and then we'll have people come up against the wolf territory right here like a little cave area right here and then I want the wolves territory to maybe wrap around here and then I want people to maybe be able to walk up along the side of this mountain a little bit so that they could look at the wolves Hmm, gonna need to back that up a little bit if that's my plan. All right, kind of like this. And then let people like look over at the wolves and come to the top of the waterfall. That's the dream. All right, so this is gonna be Fox's zone. Let's see, did I connect everything there? Is that connected? Yes, it is. Okay. And then we're going to put down a habitat gate. Ooh, good question on where to put this. We're going to have to have a new keeper on this side, I think. Um, let's actually put the gate down. Let's put the gate down here. There we go. All right. So how big is this zone that we just created? Ooh, there's like a hole in here that I need to either expand or cover up. That's a cool little den zone, though. <laughs> I actually really like that. All right, and this is going to be Fox Wolf Den after Fox. And we're going to have 8,000 square feet in there. Is that enough for Fox to be able to enjoy all on his own? For now, he's hanging out and oh, he's playing with his siblings. So freaking cute. But is that going to be enough for him whilst he establishes his own territory? Let's go ahead and see. No, he's going to need a bigger zone. So we're going to have to expand that. Also, his dad is no longer injured. Yes! Keep going, Aelin. Aelin, where'd you go? He's down here, out of the rain. He is no longer injured. Which means I can also take him off of the contraceptives, even though they have pups. Who knows? They're 17! Oh, please. <laughs> All right, maybe Fox will be able to stay it long enough that he'll be able to take care of his siblings. Uh, not, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, let's see. Did that work as well as I wanted? Okay, that worked. Uh, let's see over here. I mean, I could always expand this like so, actually. 
Because I think I need... Yeah, the wolf area, I think, needs to be a bit bigger on this side if I want it to become what I'm hoping for. All right. How's that? Is this going to be Fox's new area? <sighs> Dang! Wolves need a lot of space, which is a good, good, good thing. Uh, especially considering they're gonna like have some some spots where they can come over here and maybe do some hunting, we'll pretend. Uh, but man, they do need quite a bit of space and a lot of that space needs to be more accessible. So let's expand this again. And I wonder maybe I could have a bridge going over might be the goal. All right. There. All right, that's gonna be Fox's new territory. Huzzah! All right, so Fox has established a new territory like that he's gonna scout out and try moving over to. That's gonna be very exciting. We have named all of the mini, mini, mini babies. <laughs> look at this herd. Oh my gosh, look at the exhausted patriarch of the herd, Thomas, who still is just somehow like eternally eight years old. I'm constantly amazed by that. Uh, and everyone seems to be growing and prospering. So our job is just to make sure that it stays that way. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Uh, today was definitely a day of catching up with the herds, seeing what happened after the big hunt, where definitely we had a lot of wolf pups to feed. Uh, I'm going to make that even smoother. I'm going to work on the random generators to try to make it make more sense and to make it so you guys don't have to worry about it. But we're going to carry on expanding Fox's new territory and doing our best, hello there, <laughs> and doing our best to try to continue to move up on the community challenge and see if there are some golden dreams waiting for us next time. So thank you guys so much. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our new little wolf pups. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>